Okay, just thought I'd quickly show you this. See, this is the kind of rubbish that the system is trying right now. You know, when you're watching something, yeah. And this happens to be the Alex Jones channel. And why that's significant is because they've just recently blocked this channel to any of the military. Uh, clearly, there's things on there they don't want people to see. This happens to be... Uh, with David Icke, powerful David Icke interview, and it just stops by itself. You see, I could be watching anything. I could be watching, you know, people playing video games, you know, and doing, you know, things like that. You know, lightweight things like that. You know, lightweight thoughts, and that would never happen. But it seems anytime I go on things like Alex Jones' channel, um, an error occurred. Please try again later because this is all about you know the subliminal um subconscious you know where they just try and do it so many times that you just get peed off with it and you don't bother you know and you think oh i'll just do something else that's what they want i mean it's learn more learn more what learn more what an error about an error learn more all right let, let's click this learn more let's see what this Try, what's the the first advice again? Try again after 30 minutes. Yeah. In other words, go away for 30 minutes. Most of the time, the video should start working again in 30 minutes. Yeah. Why does it take 30 minutes? A bit of a weird one. Anyway, reload the page. Yeah, we know about that. Change the video quality, close other tabs, upgrade your browser, blah, blah, blah. Nothing wrong with my things because it was working. You know. If you need to do things like upgrades and technical things, then it just wouldn't work in the first place, you know, and we know that. Okay, so not really having that, am I? Just due to the fact that why is that little speaker icon come up there, right? Eh? Listening. Come on. I've mentioned that in past videos and nobody's answered that. I thought you'd have just been coming, you know, even even the trolls, I thought the trolls would be coming with a plethora of uh, you know, make believes. Or is it that people just don't have any answers anymore? And they agree. Maybe they agree. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? Anyway. Or not. Because I'm, I'm not really pleased by all of this. Uh, these are just observations. I want people to try and learn more. Because, <laughs> yeah. you know. I, I, it's just designed to stop you from, from wanting to engage in these things. So, you see, every time it happens, I'm going to record it. I'm going to post it up there because I don't think that this should be happening. Every other time, it's normal. And we'll, and we'll just start to see, you know, what exactly this happens with. Aren't we? We'll start uh, paying more strict attention. Our focus is now focused. All right. Um, I'd like to hear your th thoughts. So if you could, you know, just write a quick comment, uh, I'd appreciate it. Cheers. All right, and here we are again, same day. Just a short time later, still the same Alex Jones channel, but a different video now. Yeah, an error occurred. Please try again later. All right. It's not like, you know, it's inundated with thousands and thousands of views. You know, it's just doing regular viewing at the moment, All right? Simple little report. But you see, anything that they don't want people to know about, it's the same thing. You see, this is what I have discovered about this new Windows 8. Because as far as I'm concerned, you know, people are saying, oh, the program's not working right. I'm saying the program's working the way they intended it to work. Yeah, which is, it's got a form of AI in it. And when they decide they, that you've had enough, 
they'll just switch it off. Um, you know, can you imagine if, if, if Sky TV was like this? You'd be kicking off, wouldn't you? Because it's YouTube. Oh, no, no. No one's going to complain, are they? No one can say anything because these invisible people that are running it anyway with no accountability. You can see what's going on. Yeah, the way they want to control information. I mean, the way YouTube recently has gone on about uh, if you don't sign a contract with them, that's it. We're, you know, we're, they're going to have elite YouTube. Just is just a, a, another way of rolling out their thing. It was always for them, you know, make it like a habit, get people addicted to the habit of watching these videos on this channel and then, you know, get rid of everybody else and just make it about themselves once again. Always about themselves. So there you go. You can see it. That's this is what it does. You know, I could go on other channels and, and, and this wouldn't happen. It's just when I'm on channels like this. And I'm telling you that. OK, and I'm going to show you evidence of that. Right. You know, just quickly, just so you know, because I forgot to actually show you. But see, the Internet's fine. The Internet is actually even on. OK mid video because you can see watched up to that much and then something obviously around two minutes maybe was too sensitive for them you know and you see how these people are big babies anyway because they've grown up they can't accept uh, some criticism about you know what they're doing even though I thought that's what they wanted you know back in the day when they say people are engaging in politics well now we are oh it's a problem they just said that, really, uh, uh, you know, to make make everybody go back to sleep. You know, make you feel like somebody out there is going to do it for you. Nobody's going to do it for you. You do it for yourself. Yeah, so. As you can see, there's nothing wrong with the internet. Don't tell me it's the browser because it's working. It's doing things, okay? It's because they just don't want you to see that information. Okay? It's code in there. Crappy code. Deliberately put in there. Now, can you see how, how the system's going to move forward? Slowly taking away things. You know, these so-called improvements are nothing of the sort. Unless you, you're thinking the improvements in spying on people or listening on people. They've got that. Yeah, so I want to hear your thoughts about all of this in the comments box below. Okay, I said I'm going to do it. Right, so now... I'm going to show you the whole process, right? So you can believe your eyes because it's done it again. And you can see there, yeah, the internet and just switch itself off. Oh, look, you see it come back on by itself. Right? And it doesn't normally do this. Okay. Not moved anywhere. Oh, look, it's gone right up to full. So, you know, good signal, right? Let's refresh. Let's jump exactly to that bit that we got. Uh, and let's all Her sit here. Spokeswoman Curtis Garner. Nearly half of the residents of the bankrupt city cannot or do not pay their water bills. This has led activists to declare access to water a human right that should be guarded by the United Nations. Garner said that although she believes access to water is a God-given right, the fact remains that somebody has to pay. You know, somebody does have to pay those bills. And as the author of this piece points out, a large part of the problem in Detroit is the bankruptcy and paying for the city's bureaucracy, which includes pensions. So when you're in a city such as Detroit, which has been plagued by uh, many problems for many different years, I mean, is it so bad that you want to hand the keys of anything over to the United Nations? We've done reports here at InfoWars talking about how the United Nations is negotiating with uh, the Alamo in San Antonio to become a UNESCO site. And do you really want a gun-grabbing organization like the United Nations, not to mention many other offenses, coming in and taking over anything. I mean, is it that bad? I know you guys have problems in Detroit, but is it that bad that you want to hand the keys over to the United Nations? Because when we're talking about this gun-grabbing issue, you remember Detroit is a place where the police say, come here at your own risk, because they say they just flat out can't protect you. And most people say, well, that's a bad police department. I respect these guys for being honest. They say, we don't have the manpower, we don't have the whatever, the finances, the resources. To protect you, you have to protect yourself. Because you remember earlier this year, we gave you the article about the single mother, or she was uh, single in the house at the time, but these guys broke in and were trying to harm her. 
But she said, no, I'm going to pull out my gun and I'm going to defend myself and my homestead against you three armed attackers. And she chases these guys off. And the police show up to say, hey, we think it's great that this lady defended her home from these armed attackers because we couldn't be there to protect her at that time. So Detroit, uh, it may be bad, but United Nations is not the way to go. And another way that it's not the way to go, we talk from the United Nations to the United Kingdom, and they're beginning a beta test of a cashless society. A shopping street in Manchester has banned cash as part of an experiment to see if Brits will accept a cashless society, while all London buses will stop accepting cash payments from next month onwards. The purpose behind the experiment, which will take place in South Manchester, is to test customer and business reaction to the idea and they're being overseen by the credit card processor HandyPay. So if you enter this cashless society like they said they wanted in Louisiana, I believe back in 2011, they said, we don't even want you to pay in cash for garage sales, any type of secondhand purchase. I mean, do you really want Big Brother to be watching you all the time? And occasionally, yeah, I go on go online and order something, but by and large, I have to pay in cash. And even some people who I won't mention laugh at me for paying in cash, but I have no problem with it. I guess I'm like Catherine Albrecht, and I just enjoy having my personal privacy, not being tracked everywhere I go, not having every purchase that I make monitored. Uh, so if you use this uh, this uh, microchip society where they track everything you do, they'll be able to track where you shop, who you hang around with, uh, where you go, what type of places and purchases that you are interacting with. So if you value your privacy, you can have credit cards or bitcoins or other things like that, but don't throw cash under the bus. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding and making the weaponization even more. to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson. It's June 23rd, 2014, and let's get straight into the news tonight. Our top story, Obama on Iraq. There's no amount of American firepower that's going to be able to hold this country together. <laughs> 